Welcome to Call of Dirty. My name is T. Sanchez. <laughs> I'm here with my three friends, Nick, Talk, What's up? and Sobe. Hello. <laughs> so how has the year been so far? We, we survived January, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we survived. We had the Super Bowl just happen. I like the, the, the football they play with the girls in the lingerie. That shit's cool. Like oh, I, would, yeah. I would watch that every Sunday if that was the Victoria's the Secret Bowl or whatever it is. Other than a bunch of guys like crunching their fucking heads together, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just All saying. right, banter complete. So we are in February now, and and I don't know what to expect of it. I don't know if the world's going to end in three weeks. I I don't know. I know is what to any... expect. Why is every show you got to talk about the end of the world? Because it's going to happen, man. I'm just trying to be fucking. What? Dude, you, know? you are Illuminati. You're just fucking baiting everybody else. <laughs> okay. Well, You'll... there is an important date in February. That you guys oh, what, should Valentine's know. Day. Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. I like how they call it V-Day now. When you bring the bitch to your house and you drag that shit down and you pull those clothes off and you fuck that hoe. Yeah, get yeah, it. That's it. Is V-day. that how Valentine's goes that's, down? Yeah, man, you rub chocolate all over that's her. That's V-D day. Oh, okay. V-day. You rub you rub chocolate all over her <laughs> asshole and you fucking, yeah. You, you tongue it out. Uh. <laughs> tongue it out. What, what's, do you like Valentine's Day? I, I don't care. I, I don't feel it this year. Do you, feeling it. as a woman, Sobe, do you believe yes. that Valentine's Day is a right created now, is a created commercialistic holiday meant to no. suck money out of men? Saint I agree right? that okay. it is. It's about the Valentine's Day massacre. Isn't all it? I know is that <laughs> I'm working all day on Valentine's Day while bitches be getting presents. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if they're gonna be getting great. I, well, I mean, do you guys all practice that shit? I mean, you practice. <laughs> yeah, I have a. I have a. I'm the no, high priest of Valentine's you and, Day. You and, <laughs> religiously. <laughs> I practice it religiously. You and yourself uh, in your hand. I dress I up mean, like a cupid with a big diaper and some wings, and I go run a, God, down the main boulevard. Dude, we should totally throwing, do that. Throwing that's little chocolates at people. <laughs> fucking uh. <laughs> love. Do you do? You, what do you do? Special talk. Some Doritos on the bed. A fucking nice bottle of Schlitz. <laughs> malt liquor, he know. pours 40 on the <laughs> ground for his homies and then he pours some on the beach what do you do i mean do you do something special no i'm just really surprised that you hit it so <laughs> dead on like that's kind of crazy <laughs> doritos and schlitz everywhere that's so I'm we, are, do you have a significant other right now who moi yeah yeah oh, okay cool and so he's gonna come over and rub your no. butt or something or what's gonna happen no i'm working all day i've actually what to is be that? honest you're working all the way into the next day i mean there's you're not you're gonna go home at one point right right now there'll be a hot warm bubble <laughs> bath with like fucking rose petals everywhere and shit <laughs> full of schlitz malt know, liquor like, i'm not like a romantic and doritos. Guess, it's a so it's know. a hot tub that's got schlitz malt liquor know, instead of water why, you know why i don't like romantic shit is because it's so obvious what i'm trying to do it's like not it's it's almost anti-romantic don't so, be ignorant have, have you ever done it's something important have you ever ignorant. done something romantic just to be nice and not is that what it is and not expect anything yeah it's called making dinner lunch fucking you know changing pampers that's getting up in the morning oh that's romantic yeah man well seriously well it's not romantic until you throw the dirty pamper no i bet talks are he's probably all into that fucking romantic shit yeah i could see him because he's like prince he's got he's got a sex swing That's his romance. Oh That's his romanticism. Look at, look at. Yeah. They, they, awesome. they start from opposite they, sides of the room and they collide in the middle. It's it's wow. a per- perpetual the logistics of that is perpetual motion machine. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, nice. That Only sounds pretty with cool. With swings. You're nice. welcome. But That's, nobody thinks that like romanticism just seems like pre-planned. I mean, I, you know what? It's all it all depends on what the chicks want. Like we talk No, wine, we talked to sex. Gianna. I mean, it's a great exchange. Well, you remember Gianna? Do you think she gives a shit about rose petals and bubble yes, baths? She wants to still, get pounded. No, she's still looking for that number 1. Whatever. She, she is said looking it herself. for that. Every she woman is. is. There's no such thing as a whore, dude. They all want a number 1, just one. No. Well, I, I disagree with they're the horror statement, but they're looking for their Jerry Maguire all of them. <laughs> I'm fucking telling you, man. You believe it or not. So, guys, what with movies? Uh, there's like a new well, fucking. If, wait a second. If women oh, are shit. looking for that number one, then what exactly are men looking Vagina for? Vagina day. Vagina day. <laughs> that number one, two, we're looking for three, three yeah. four, five, six. I'm looking for keep counting. So you don't really one. care about that number one. You just we care a, about that continuum. Oh no, my listen. God. We have no. Everybody cares about the person. That Here, here's going to be the end of the conversation. On some level, our version. <laughs> our version. Our version of Valentine's Day is called Warm Orifice Day. And next topic. Yeah, really, dude. Get over your vagina day shit. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, so what? Is that it? I mean, what? You, that, your question is... 
What, it was what just it? anger. Okay, good. Yeah, it's just anger. <laughs> it was rage. So there's Feminist like rage. there's like a new uh, there's a new movie that's coming out and it looks like um, like vampire shit times twenty. <laughs> you seen like the <laughs> like the what? trailer for this? It's like they're ghost people though. Times and fucking twenty. Black shit flying out of them. And what? It's some crazy. What the fuck's the name? Supernatural of it? new movie coming out. And it's just all right. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen that. It, it looks it looks insane. <laughs> Black shit coming wow, out. Wow, that of felt horrible. What the yeah, hell is it? It looks <laughs> amazing. Chick yells and black shit flies out around it. it was an, isn't isn't that called Scary Movie? Or wait, no. What was the new one? Haunted Mansion? Or what was. What? Haunted, Haunted Mansion. <laughs> yeah, when I, I was like know. 10. Eddie Murphy's really <laughs> angry right now. <laughs> well, black shit came out. That's the only thing I came up with. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> What what's good that's coming out? Anybody know? Go ahead, movie review person. Well, in a couple of years, there will be a Star Wars Episode Seven, oh. and it's going to be directed by J.J. Abrams, who is also doing Star Trek. I like him; he's good. I yeah. like him a lot. Every, I mean, I was impressed because all the new Star Trek shit's fucking awesome. Do you like it, talk or what do you think? I do like it. I like it's it really good, right? I mean, it, it's fucking well made. What Sorry. do you mean, uh, stuff by J.J. Abrams or the new Star the new Star, Star Trek, Trek in general? Oh, the Star Treks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, they would be one and the same. Yeah, the new Star Trek is all. I can't wait for the next one and. To hear that he's also doing the new Star Wars, I'm really intrigued to see what's going to happen with that. Yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it'll probably be good, man. We're going to break a trend. I wasn't impressed with any of the, the Star Wars. The new Wars ones? At all. Well, the, the old ones, What was absolutely. that? Jar Jar fucking dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> Jar Jar. What was his name? Jar Jar. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks. So, Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. The, hey, man, how you doing? You want to smoke? Out? He oh, dude, like if dude he would from, smoke, I, I would totally forgive him. He sounds him. Like, like Sebastian from, you know. <laughs> Under the Sea. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. Guy, hey, I'm a Jedi. And then they have that Jew New Yorker character with fucking Anakin. You know uh, what I'm talking about? You wanted the pots for the spaceship. Yeah, exactly. uh, that one. They, they ruined these movies. Just ruined wow. them. Wow. Okay. How much Anti-Semite. does that heater cost? <laughs> what is hey, it I don't know. I'm done Butt with plug. all that. Okay, I'm seeing though they're thinking about doing a Yoda movie, which would be kind of cool, maybe. I. Where did you see that? Starring Yoda. Disney confirmed Star Wars standalone movies. Oh, it's Disney. They're going to make a cutesy fucking thing out of like... God, I don't want to work for them so badly. Disney, they own like the world. Yeah. They own the rights to Star Wars. They're not just going to do a Yoda movie. You, They're going do they to do own Marvel. Movie. They own Star Wars. Yeah, they, they own all that shit. They yeah. own it all. So the I got to say, I've never really been disappointed with pretty much anything Disney's done. No. You know, no. so I mean, I think that... What? Did, you didn't Bambi? see John Carter? <laughs> Bambi? I didn't horrible, think, I didn't think that movie was that bad. Oh my God. All right. I oh think they kid. released it fucking 50 years too late. The but the key to owning the world <laughs> oh my is God. to roll kids. Roll it's kids. It's horrible, dude. It's true. You well, start from the kids. Well, say Earth for you me can real roll quick. The world. Indoctrinate them. <laughs> no, John, you like John Carter? The Blast I didn't think it was blue, that bad. Blue Mitts thing? That, that chick who was in that movie who oh played God, the Princess of so Mars was hot dude. as shit. You're just dude. predictable. Your tastes are predictable. Yeah. I didn't think yeah, the movie she's not was that bad. Hot. She looked like an over the hill fucking 45 year old bitch who had like six no, kids. No, not what? at all. Yeah, dude. Not please. at all. Okay, oh so God. you were on what, 19 beers at that point when you watched the movie? <laughs> no, I fell asleep twice. Okay. This it's is getting just... bored. What's the next topic? God, all right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't like something you like, man. You exactly. Uh, Shut down. Well, okay. Does anybody have any gaming news? Gaming news. Yeah, uh, THQ got shut down after t- What's new? 24 years. They they just Poor claimed THQ. Bank- bankruptcy and they split up the company and What's they- wrong with them? Really? They have so many problems. Like they well, I think can't- it's it's tough for developers in general, man. When you talk about the game industry, there's so many that have closed down over the past couple of years and I think it's because they're Business practices are screwed up. They no, charge it's their way games too much. that are screwed up. That too. <laughs> the well, games are like. There's a lot of good games that came from a lot of those developers, shit. but the, the problem is just with a lot of other things right now that people are so focused on getting theirs, they're not focused on what they're actually doing. They're more they're more focused on the business aspect. Mm-hmm. No, yes. of course, than on what I they should actually be doing. I understand that. That's but, like just, but, that's just like when I look at Activision and whatever no, the tools. No, to name be honest, is, anytime I hear that. THQ is they're gonna. They're they're gonna do something. I wince. I just do because I'm like they're gonna fuck it up, man. It's either gonna be the controls or the fucking. There's gonna be something bad about it. Well, there's I mean? a whole side to THQ that I know you didn't really experience too much because they were on the PC side and they made some pretty good games. And I'm not saying they didn't. Oh, I'm, I'm, well, I'm just saying dude, that I have PC games. This I know. fucking guy, like, because I'm not online playing Guild Wars every fucking night, dude. Break balls. He owns a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Whatever. And I have a PC. Whatever. <laughs> Damn, you Get rich, it. you rich motherfucker. Yeah, give me some. All I got right. Gaming Republic fucking laptop in my house. Nice. Bitch. I don't know, but uh, I, I don't know with THQ. I, I don't know, man. Well, just developers just in sad. general. I think that they're they're focused. They're like, oh, 
they try to friggin they release a game full price 60 bucks and then they want you I to won't download full price for anything yeah ever. but what i'm just saying is this is how they expect to make money is that they release it for 60 bucks a bunch of people buy it and then they say oh but this new level you have to download it and no, then you got to pay me five bucks. And then games we want you to pay up to one hundred and twenty dollars nowadays. That's why I won't buy anything new yeah. anymore. I'm done with that shit. No, you pay up to one hundred and twenty bucks for a new game. Absolutely. But yeah. who am I talking to? Because kids are stupid, and their parents are stupid, and their parents don't even look at what they're. Well, playing. kids just I, want whatever, so whatever. But that's the fact about anything new. I, tips for not buying new shit. I mean, first of all, Steam is amazing because you can get insane discounts on Steam. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big advocate of Gamefly because you can rent. You spend maybe two fifteen for the whole year. You can play everything that you want to play. Well, what do you think every- about this new Steam Box thing that's coming out? No, They're going to make their I'm own console. Super psyched! But I want I want controller enabled shit. That's you what, know? Yeah. because I don't want to hold a goddamn keyboard in my fucking lap. You know I, what I mean? I think. What if I get an erection? It's, it just doesn't work. <laughs> You know, just it tipping to the side. I'm sure Nintendo will make a peripheral for that. <laughs> Did anybody? No, well, no, I'm excited about the. I'm excited about that. I'm not excited about the oh yeah at oh, all. Oh yeah. Yeah, because. Well, that's Android based anyway. No, I so. understand that. But if I was a developer, I'd be excited about it. But as a gamer, I'm not. I mean, I don't know. Well, for in depth games, I think it's going to suck. But yeah. I think for like the little cell phone games that a lot. Why, why would, a what, lot of what's people the resolution spend money on? going to be on your fucking TV, man? Seriously. It doesn't matter. The, the, you think the people who play Farmville are going to care? I mean, b- people who spend that you type cannot, of money. You can Farmville with a controller? You will be. When the Ouya <laughs> comes out, that anything, exciting. That's like RTS. Anything that you can me, play on bullshit. Android will be on Ouya. Uh, you know, and people will play it. How do you say it? Ooh yeah! Is it ooh yeah? It's I thought ooh, it was yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, I thought it was oh yeah. Maybe you're just—it's probably like some Jewish pronunciation. So Yo yeah. You can't see it, right? I think... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your I'm vision's sorry. distorted. She's so yeah. pretty. I want to fucking smack her in her mouth. <laughs> I'll smack you in the mouth. I love her. She's so pretty. I haven't <laughs> seen you in forever. How have you been? Good. Yeah. Any anything new? Did you learn to say Earth yet? <laughs> oh, you... No. What are you What are you playing? What are you playing right now? Uh, I'm actually playing Final Fantasy online. Okay. Which is interesting. The, I mean, the graphics suck, but the game itself is actually pretty cool. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Final, Final Fantasy you, is it like online? The eight, eight yeah. Shit? Do you mean 11 or the newer one? The 11. Ah, the graphics. Really? Suck. 11's still out? Yeah, it's, it's still surprising. out. And, um, you know, there's it's a lot of things. It's all about the grind. <laughs> it, it is. There is. But, you know, there's power leveling, and it's really easy to power level and stuff like that. Well, that's surprising. I thought that shit died like a. Like honestly, like close to a decade ago, right? How old There's is that game? There's a lot of uh, people. Dude, play- Talk still plays EverQuest. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's true. It's not. I was gonna download it. Talk. I really was. Wait, EverQuest two is that the good graphics or which one is the good graphics? <laughs> which one is the good? Well, there's gonna I be. Can't, I can't play with that fucking. Poly, I don't want you poly playing. Either. Either. <laughs> I don't want. You, on behalf of all the people that play either of those games, do not download it. All right, I won't you, download you, it. Wait, there's a there, but there's a new one coming out called um, EverQuest, EverQuest Next. EverQuest: The Search for Graphics <laughs> <laughs> for better graphics. Yes, <laughs> yes, very good. All right. Anybody else got any gaming news? <laughs> yes. No. What do you? Oh, what have you been shit. playing? Talk. EverQuest. <laughs> no, I, I I haven't been playing too much of anything. Uh, League of Legends, and that's about it. League of Legends. Wait, what's League of Legends? Do I not know? This? League of Legends is a game we actually all play, except for you. Except for me. Yeah. I'm the yeah. one that's out. I'm the black sheep. Nobody <laughs> wants are. to be my friend. You are. Well, black. we want you, you to be black. our friend, but you don't. I want to do. I'll do Guild Wars. That's the most I'll do. I think. What's League of Legends? Is it good? I'll show you later. Yeah. No. Is it's, that like a bunch of superhero kind of things and fucking? Imagine if you could do like an RTS game, but you're only controlling one person. Oh no, I don't know about RTS. No, no, no. But you're controlling one person in this big war, and all the other people are real. Like I get to kill real people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna kill real people. I mean, I'm just saying that it's not AI. It's all basic. I mean, they have they have all right, let's versus pull it AI. up on the big screen. Each, while okay. We continue, so honestly. each AI represents a drone. Okay, that's over in Iraq right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's basically <laughs> how it works. I like. I like. I played uh, uh, Grimrock. I keep calling it Grimlock. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that game yet? Did you play it? It's like a uh, Look at him. Look at you. you two are sad people. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. You guys are big PC fucking gamers, but you know, y'all don't know anything about what's out. Well. It's ridiculous. You know why? It's because a new game is coming out literally every 30 minutes. Yeah, well, you got to be on top of that shit. That's yeah, well, especially for, for Grimrock. No, I don't want to see trailers. I just want to see how it plays. No, no, this the, they'll show you. Oh, it's Lego characters. That's no, awesome. No, it's not. <laughs> Lego characters. <laughs> <laughs> they look like Lego characters. So these are just like highlights. So do I have to pay $60 for the no, game? No, you don't no, have to pay anything. It's free. it's free to play. 
This is oh, that looks kind of okay, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> oh wow. I mean, the graphics aren't that no, great, it's but it's really interactive and it's really like. No, the graphics are cool. What this it is, is what Warcraft used to be. You know what? It's very much. It came from a, a clone, or not a clone, from a, the developer that left twenty years ago. It came from a mod. Of uh, of Warcraft three and it was called Dota. It Defenders looks like, of the Ancients. Oh god, Dota. Yeah, I that's that what it is. Fucking word anymore. Is that what it is though? Have you ever played it? I'm gonna play it now. Okay. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna it's free. All There's of no you. reason not to. I don't like RTSs though. It's not it. all right. What's the new MMO I should do? That's the best. Uh, Guild Wars, right? It's the best one. Wait for Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, well that'll be an automatic. I'll play that for sure. So anyway, let's carry on. An article that I came across that I found very interesting is about a New York police officer who was charged with seeking to kill and eat women and handed to an online chat that his wife wait, 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 wait. What might is he be doing? on he, the menu. He was looking to kill eight women? No, eat them. Kill eat and them. eat. Yeah. Them. Okay. Kill and eat. Yeah. Yum, yums. And mm. so basically he got engaged in an internet chat with a guy from who said he was from India. And he was like, hey, you know, um, I have this girlfriend and a wife. And they're both 25, about 140 pounds, 5'7", 4'4", 2", 3", 3", So it's a guy acting like a woman. No. What's wrong with you, man? (laughs) Is everybody else following me or is this the one? I follow you. I follow you. I'm I'm sorry. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Suck my heck a little. He knows speaking English. According to the the prosecutors, the guy's like, oh, my wife is a vegetarian. The Indian guy was like, oh, this would not work. Her meat will not be good. And... (laughs) So they, they charged him with planning to, it's again, it's, it's like minority report, like you're going to do something, but to kidnap, rape, kill, and eat women. And so they're, they're trying to fuck this guy up. But uh, he fucked himself up, I think, by telling somebody that he had a girlfriend and a wife, and now guess what? His wife knows because there's a big old picture of his big old nose on uh, Huffington. So now he's probably going to get divorced, too. Whereas oh, so, the real tragedy, not yeah, eating Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> him not eating women, half, not, so, not a big deal. Half, <laughs> half, motherfucker. What if he ate half of her? Well, the cannibal thing is a real fetish, though, like putting women on spits and, and cooking them. I've never heard of that I don't want to go to your oh, swinger parties, God. dude. That no, is no, no, disturbing. <laughs> no, it's a huge fetish. You've never seen this before? Where are, you you, are you How kidding me? How huge is huge? Here, uh, Nick, type in uh, no. Veronophilia. <laughs> what? What? Veronophilia. Spell that. The fact that this shit even exists makes me want to just start destroying people. No, it, it really does exist. And, and it's, you said it like, no, no, it's okay. Dude, there's all kinds of gross it's okay. fetishes. No, I'm not into it. I'm just saying that it's a real thing where like it's it's all like an, like pictures and drawings and yeah, like see the people being women being put on spits and eaten and, and it's like a big fetish, man. Or them wanting to be eaten. Like, like wait, wait, like wait. You wait, want somebody but, to eat you? There's a big case in Do England. people do people do this for real, or is this? No, it's just all fantasy based. Oh, oh okay. Well, there was a guy in England nah. that really did do it, and he he you know he met somebody on internet chat, and then he. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing at these images that are pulling up, like a there, fat guy with two knives. There's and, a. Re- there's a the real case of, of a guy that met another guy and he wanted to be eaten. Okay, that was his <clears> fetish. And so he went to England, met up with a guy, and the guy fucking ate him. Uh, I don't know how he came or how he was turned on by being eaten and killed, but he was for some weird way. I think maybe that he that thought was it, his fetish. Was I think he eaten. thought it was going to be cool, and then he started getting or, eaten. No, and he, he wanted like, he wanted to watch the guy eat his penis or something like this. Oh and so my that was fucking like, god! That was what it was. He wanted, right. but he ended up bleeding to death, and so he had to eat the guy. <laughs> I do this so all the time, had, you guys. I don't know about yeah, he this had is like to every week eat the guy. Me. Wait, so he had to eat the guy? Yeah, well, he continued to eat him. I think. Cutest ver- verosophilia picture ever. <laughs> wow. Uh, no, that's, Asians are weird. So. <laughs> look at so, who is it weird? Dude, oh, you're not I doing know. this right. You gotta. I put the, your no search. this this image. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well. <laughs> Anyway, okay. uh, next topic. No, give me the give me my fucking pad, Biatch. <laughs> so there's other fetishes like you ever heard of a Roman shower? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's like the Dutch oven. A Roman shower. You know what it is? Oh, look, uh, the scorpion. Oh. That's that's the site I was looking at. Where, the... That's called a bug chaser. Somebody that goes around trying to catch HIV. No, I bug hunter. I think I told you. Uh, no, it's called a bug catcher. Actually, bug, bug chasers. Catcher. Well, bug catcher. I'm actually Talk, getting out. physically sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, the Roman shower is when you each throw up on each other and during sex. Uh, or oh not my why sex is that a Roman shower? 
I, I, that's what that I was to, wondering. What's it to do with Romans? What, everybody breaks the Romans' balls, dude. Like anything that's twisted and fucking weird. That sounds more. It sounds more like a German shower to me, <laughs> dude. You should just type in that kind of artwork, not the word itself, because the art is the big fucking the big stickler. What? Which art? The the Vororophilia artwork. That's, I I did. Oh, okay. No, there's all kinds of weird fetishes. I, I try to understand them all as pointless. It's just weird, like bug well, crushers. The fact that there's you bug know crushers. They just get excited watching it. people step on bugs. Yes. People that like getting bitten by bugs. All right. I, next I, topic. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even not respond to that. So, uh, what, go ahead. Who's gonna go next? Well, there was a, a, the a story about a U.S. soldier that was... Um, oh, God, here we go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> go ahead, Sammy. Well, he actually lost all his limbs. And um, and he wasn't able to give his Valentine <laughs> sorry, chocolates. No, he wasn't. Funny. He wasn't. Uh, well, now no. he might be able to. Well, actually, they it's like a really big like thing in the medical history right now because they actually attached a donated arm to him uh, where his bicep is like they were able to do like hands and like stuff a real like that. human arm a or, real a prosu- human arm. or a prosthetic a real human arm so someone donated an arm oh yeah. and a laser beam well, strapped yeah, onto my they shit. obviously died but whatever they donated the arm yeah and it was actually attached from the bicep lasers and he was able to use it and he's able to use it no well, shit. well it's just an arm i mean it, it's the same components right yeah it's but like i don't think anybody's your hard drive before. right yeah, it's never been done before, oh. so it's you actually really big. should have had really lasers big. put on there, though. I would have done something cool. Like, lasers are one of those fucking, like, maces, you know? Like a fucking spike ball and chain. You he know, be creative if you're going to lose your fucking He should have put his arms on his legs and his, <laughs> and his no, legs Now, that, that, that's making me sick. That's just, that's inappropriate. <laughs> just do that's something fun, you know? That's inappropriate. That's it. No. So, okay. so he's good? He has new arms? That's cool. No, he just has one arm, and oh. they only got the one arm for well, him. Well, you only need one, right? That's as, long as, he doesn't throw, <laughs> as long as he doesn't throw a You only need one to not get lonely. Yeah, all I know is the best day of this guy's life is the first time he jacks off with his new arm. Absolutely, and kudos to him. I think that's a great exactly. thing. That was a great story. Thanks, Sobe. It You're was. welcome. So there was a power outage at the Super Bowl, and, and people are now saying that it, it fucked up the whole Super Bowl. Was it good for the Super Bowl? Who cares? It's over. I Get over it. it. New York lost. <laughs> <laughs> New York lost? <laughs> That's the majority of the people that watch football, I think, are all from New York. <laughs> <laughs> New York lost before the Super Bowl started. But what's the whole power outage thing? I don't... What's the thing? It was... It's apparently, the power company had mentioned that it was on the the stadium. And there was a funny tweet that happened but right, after that. But who cares? Why is it a big deal? It's not a it big deal. The who game? cares? It delayed power outage. And the why most does it matter? viewed sport besides NASCAR... In, in the U.S. So Wait, NASCAR is more viewed than football? Yeah. NASCAR is huge. NASCAR is me. the most viewed sport Damn in the world. Damn it, boy, I'm going to take you to wash the NASCAR. Well, oh, left turn. And another another left, left turn. turn. I know. It's really I don't Left wow. turn. <laughs> I, I can't. Well, well, why most This is why other countries anyways. think we're stupid, see? Of shit. Oh, this is why? That is why. NASCAR this is, why. is the reason why. Yeah, watching people drive well, around in circle. Let's explain some of it. Well, we're going to do our own NASCAR. I'm going to go into the fucking public's parking lot. We're going to just drive around in circles. And fucking, we'll probably get a million people to watch us. You know, if we put it on YouTube, we probably would get a heck of a lot more money than this show. Anyway. So uh, did it matter? It didn't matter? The no, I mean, audits. it just it, it, it was a, another 30, sec- 30 minutes of commercials. It probably so. mattered. And the people. commercials were horrible this year, I thought. There was a pretty good one. They had oh, a couple. You're gonna do the kissing one because I was disgusted. No, no. You know, that's a vomit in my mouth situation. Yeah, that that, vo- that horse, that fucking the Budweiser horse. One. That's the one I like. The Budweiser horse one was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, but I'm talking. There was like one. The rest were all garbage. I didn't see. Most it was like watching people. regular TV. I didn't feel anything like. You know, but let me mention something here. So no this was the first. This was the first Super Bowl where I saw commercials for upcoming commercials okay. like. They yeah, had like websites. Part, part one of two. No, no, no. They would, they would be like, so here's a teaser for the commercial that will play during the Super Bowl. And they're running this shit like a week before the Super Bowl start. And I'm like, are you out yeah. of your fucking minds? That was like, a big deal. I yeah. think Volkswagen did it too. Wait, is that? Are you drinking one of the beers that was advertised? No. Or is that something different? No. What are you talking about? Because no, there, was, there was a beer commercial. There was yeah, two Budweiser. of them. Time no, there was another one. I don't know. I just bought this at the gas station. Why are you breaking balls? Because I think they got into your head. Third mm-hmm. shift? What's the, the third shift? The man's Sobe? controlling you now. <sighs> it's the shift after the shift behind the guy with the shift. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yes what is exactly. it? I don't remember. It's it's, it's to, the night shift. It's to promote drinking all night. But the Clyde uh, one was actually awesome. Clydesdale. Yeah. The Clydesdale. Next. Next. <laughs> 
Keep it rolling. So can I get like an educated opinion about the lip syncing Beyonce fiasco from anybody, please? An intelligent fucking... I can give you an uneducated opinion. Are you black? Because if you're black, you're going to be like, go girl, you go get it. Heck yeah, girl. Nah, man, she wasn't no lip syncing. No, no, she did admit to lip syncing. That's the the fucking... Nah, I still don't believe it. (laughs) It's not not like Michael Jackson. Nah, man, listen. I'm I'm tired of the... Other, uh, other people yeah. saying that she done did lip thing, and we all know that Beyonce ain't gonna do nothing like that. Hell no! All right, guys, all right. guys, she admitted to it. No, no. What no. that matter? Did that, she admitted. Blood don't fit. Let Glut me ask you a question. Was Listen, was it a white person asking fit. the question? Stop. That's all I gotta Why say. Why is everybody being so racist? All I'm well, saying. You being, ra- you being racist, you honky motherfucker. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so anyway, does it not bother anybody that somebody that did an inaugurational fucking song just lip sank it? Because they said that they had something better to do a week <laughs> from now. I don't. I, I think it's because. Does that upset uh, anyone? There's a million other talented people in the world that could have done that. That would have loved to do it. Maybe she had a cold. Who the fuck knows? She didn't have a cold. She I, went I on. She went on stage. She sang it for everybody right after that. So she could have sang it right. Well, here's she goes here's on, the two problem. Two days later, sings it again for everybody to a live press conference and mm-hmm. says. You know, there I did. I can sing it, but I did. I, I don't want to. I don't want to blame her. I want to blame the people who produced the whole fucking thing because it's it, you can't right, because she has lip no control over what she does. No, right? you can't lip sync something and them not know about it. So they knew about it. They're just as guilty. No, okay, fine. That's okay. I'm saying that doesn't bother anybody. That that yeah, it does. It bothers the hell out of me. I don't want really her to get paid for me. that. I think it upsets me because it's like, dude, you know, that, that's a big deal. And there's a lot of really talented singers that would probably love to do it. Why Beyonce? What's what's Obama's obsession with fucking Beyonce, first of all? And what, yes. is, that's, what is That's it? the real question is why why couldn't we get somebody who's an aspiring no, but star who's a real with, They're obsessed with Beyonce and fucking Jay-Z, dude. They're at the fucking, when, they're, when they win the presidency, they sing. Go. Oh. Well, um... I just, I, all I know is back in the day, like uh, when Phantom of the Opera came out, they, the, the singer, the, the girl, uh, didn't even sing her own song. It was Beyonce that sang it, which doesn't what make are you talking sense about? to me. Are you serious? So she lip synced to Beyonce. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, like you said, there's an obsession with Beyonce. Like she's like this great singer, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she is a pretty good singer, but. Like, why is she taking other people's opportunities to yeah. do something great away? Why does are everybody... you trying to say that she taking jobs from the white man? I ain't going to stand for this shit. All right, listen. My, <laughs> I my, my only point is, is that I think it's offensive. I think it's wrong. And I disagree with the entire act. And I think, it's, I think she should be ashamed of herself. And I think it's fucking uncool. And, and by the way, the, the people that were supporting her, I made a point. I was like, well, those tickets were going for like six grand a ticket to go. Did she get paid for that? If she got paid for that, Absolutely. I mean, she got paid to lip sync. She didn't fucking donate she it. She got paid to lip sync and yeah. not even fucking sing. Now, I'm really upset with that. There's a lot of people that need money that are talented shit, artists. I bet you're still holding a shit. grudge against Millie Vanilli, aren't you, motherfucker? I'm not. I have no problem with Millie Vanilli. I don't even okay. care about that shit. I'm just saying that she's the devil. You care about and Beyonce. there's something wrong with that. Why is she the devil? Because she dates Jay Z, or no, she's she married to Jay Z. She named her daughter Blue Ivy, and spelled backwards, it's "I loved Ivy," and it means Satan's daughter in Latin. Mm. Didn't so you, you didn't know this. You, you didn't know this. You hate her because <laughs> she's Satan. No, I'm just saying that I, I just think it's wrong what she did, and I. I you were born it, the it day. It upsets me that that you were born the day hundreds of thousands of Japanese went to heaven. It upsets me that people support her, and I think it's good. I mean, we could boycott them, but who would care? And and it's funny because somebody on my Facebook wrote me back and said, it "Doesn't affect my life, so I don't care." And the and point was made. Nobody gives a shit. Exactly. And I think it's a sign of the times. I think it's a sign of everything. And it, I'm not saying like gloom and doom. I'm just mean, you know. This is the time apathy. of apathy. This is the yeah, time of no, just, zero fucks cares, given. Man. Now nobody is the time of apathy. Me. I don't know. It's just wrong. It's all wrong. It's not She's in my wrong. own little box, so I don't give a fuck. And then she got to do the Super Bowl after that. I just hope she goes away. She's my next Kardashian. Mm. Will she go away, though? She's not going anywhere. No, probably no. not. And her daughter will be making albums at the age of three. <laughs> Maybe her and Willow Smith can get together. Oh, my God. Just whip your hair around. They Forget can f- about it. flip their trust fund back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just them tossing a ball with a dollar sign on it back and forth. So, yeah. so be, do you, you pay attention to entertainment news at all, or you don't care? Um... How do you feel about, like, for example, you were dating a guy and he beat your face in and you got pictures of it and your face is all fucking mangled? And then, well, like, that wouldn't happen to me, first wait, off. Wait, let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. Okay, go Can ahead. I finish? Finish. Can finish. I finish? I'm going to let you finish. Okay, I'm finished. 
<laughs> no, but so a guy beats your face in and gets it tattooed on his neck, the actual like mugshot picture of your of face my being bruises? annihilated. Wait, did he really do that? Hold on, I'm not done yet. And then would you get back together with him? No. Well, I'd Rihanna kill him. did. <laughs> Rihanna got back together with Chris, with Chris Brown. Brown. You know what my I would man. do? After I would he mangled skin her face in the pieces. That tattoo off of his neck. Can somebody say she's got daddy issues? It. What what is it? I don't get it. Wait. Why would you do that? Why would you get back with somebody that mangled your fucking face and got a tattoo of it? Because okay. you got off on it. <laughs> because <laughs> she got uh, off on it. Well, but she does she needs have that SMM song. Sorry for her. I don't I don't get it. I didn't know that he actually got that tattoo. Yeah, he has it on his neck. I thought that was a joke. Well, no, it's real. I thought it was a really funny joke. No, it's real. It's a real tattoo. Look it up. He actually got a tattoo. Yes, and but he he said it wasn't her. He was like, oh, it's a thing of art or whatever. That's and amazing. It's her. If you take the image and you 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 like put it over her image of her face being smashed in, it's the exact same oh, image. Wow. Yeah, man. There it is. Look, see? Wow. <laughs> wow. It's real, dude. That's a real tattoo. Look at that. That's insane. Oh, that doesn't look that doesn't look like Rihanna. Uh now show the picture of her mugshot, dude. Oh wow. Come on. Yeah. You don't see that? The scratches on the lips and all that stuff. That's kind of messed up. So now does he admit that that's her or I don't know. I can't confirm that. But all I know is, is that she's one stupid bitch. He dyed <laughs> his hair blonde? What what do you who cares, dude? It's Dennis Rodman, I thought. <laughs> I, th- I thought that was Dennis Rodman. But you'd get back together with that guy, Soby? He's pretty girl's hot. opinion no. here. He's I hot. definitely would never get back with him. Like I said, I'd probably If I was him. gay, I'd get back with him. Look at him. Look at this. He looks like a big douchebag. Well, he's got an F-16 tattooed on his stomach. You wouldn't go back. <laughs> so that look just looks cool to me. I would get with him just because of that. Because I'm bringing the fire, baby. That's it. I'm on top of you bringing the fire. Oh, so what is it real? Is it fake? Is it looks pretty fucking real to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh no. We're looking at pictures of people's stupid tattoos. No, but that looks real to me. I think that's a legitimate tattoo. Yeah. It doesn't look photoshopped. No. But yeah, so does he, he still she, have it? She's back with him. They're happy, I guess. Now I don't know. She's beating. He's Rihanna's beating her. Boobs? I don't know. Who cares? Mm, interesting. She's from uh, where's she from? The Netherlands. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, took a wild guess. I have no clue. Botswana. Botswana. <laughs> That's right next to fucking. That isn't that right next to downtown Miami? Tijuana. <laughs> I don't remember. Darfur. Same thing. Darfur. Darfur Miami. Darfur. Fort Pierce. Same so anyway, uh, is there anything else anybody wanted to discuss? Not really. Let's like, keep it a short show tonight. Okay. On behalf of D. Sanchez, Soba, and Talk. I'm Nick Smash. Have a good night.